Alright, what is up ladies and gents? Today, this, just to let you know if you're looking for a match and you don't care about the announcement. Actually, I'm going to say the announcement first and then I'll say this part. I have, you know what, I'll show you, an even better idea, I'll show you. I got this motherfucker, this bitch, this thing, this, this wonderful, it's upside down. I have this wonderful thing. The, it's the new Aver Media Live Gamer Portable uh, device. Let me turn this down because we don't care about this audio. The problem, the problem with it. I misinterpreted, well not misinterpreted, I misunderstood uh, the points of, I thought, I mean basically, I thought that it has, you know, it obviously has a bunch of slots for everything. You have the slots for their own little, I think, I think people call them dangles, is that what they're called? Or dongles? <laughs> Dongle. And then they have HDMI in and out ports, but then they have the audio in and out port, and I misinterpreted the point of that. I thought that this was actually, you could plug in a microphone that had this type of plug-in into the device, and that would allow you, and it would take your commentary into the device and transfer it to your computer as you were doing the commentary. That was not correct. That's actually for any, basically, whatever, I don't know what would actually utilize this is an audio in slash out. I don't actually know what that's probably for computer only now that I think about it. Maybe? I don't even know. Anyway, I misinterpreted that. I, so I thought, you know, like I had uh, a microphone that I could plug into that slot and that I could utilize it. That was incorrect. You actually have to use a microphone that you can plug into your... The program itself will still record commentary from a microphone. So thank God I thought I was fucked there. I thought I just wasted money. But uh, you have to have a microphone that you can plug into your computer, and then it takes the microphone that is plugged into your computer, and then will record the commentary with that. Works perfectly fine. However, the only USB mic, well, the only microphone I have, USB or not, is the one from <laughs> the original Rock Band. That's the only microphone I have. And unfortunately, it's the program itself. Just it barely, even when I have it directly in my face, it barely picks the sound up. I made sure that the uh, settings were up all the way. So unfortunately now I am in the market for a headset that has a microphone uh, built into it so that I can properly do that. You know, I know pretty much almost like all the people that stream like Fanatic, Flow, I don't watch their streams, but I have, I mean, every time I see them, I, they're wearing a headset with a microphone on it. Obviously, you know, commentators do it. Cross Counter TV, they didn't actually have headsets. They actually had clip-on microphones. I looked into those too, but unfortunately, I didn't see anything that was like, I don't know. It just it all looked, eh. So unfortunately, I didn't find anything. So I am hoping some of you, some of my fellow gamers, some of my fellow players, may have some suggestions. I've asked a few. I've asked around on a few different places. I've also. Uh, PM Spooky directly actually to see if I cannot uh, actually get one of the um, Have him point me to the kind of headsets that he uses for his commentary because obviously those are high quality And so as long as they're not like seven hundred dollars, I'll consider them uh, So that would probably be my, that's kind of my best option right now, but I don't really know much in the way of the quality of headphones I've never looked into the headsets that have a microphone attached to them. You know, I've never had to I have a pair of noise canceling headphones that are actually let me show you these two. I gotta show you these two. I gotta show you all my bling. These are actually surprisingly very good headphones. These right here, these motherfuckers. See that? See that? Saints Row, bitch. You got the you actually got those. Uh, it was a pre-order bonus for the well not a pre-order bonus. It was a part of the collector's edition for Saints Row 3. And they were actually surprisingly high quality. I'm very I was very impressed by them. They're very good and I like them. So I have those for just like regular any time around. I look like an idiot wearing them, but still, I don't give a shit. It's Saints Row, bitch. I can look as stupid as I want. Um I have those for just, you know, any other time. I have a pair of headphones that, you know, they wrap around my ear to ensure they don't fall out if I'm working out. That's all I need. I've never had to look into headsets. So I don't know anything about the quality of them, and so that's why I'm hoping I mean, the only headsets I really know about are AGE, the PDP Afterglow shit, thanks to Fnatic. However, let's not call Fnatic a particularly unbiased source of the of those products. So, I, I mean, 
that's basically what I'm asking is if any of you do anything similar to this and you record your own commentary and you know your microphone is of a high quality uh, with your headset, please let me know what kind of headset you're using because I'm now I'm in the market for one so I can give you the highest quality. There will be no more of you know me accidentally putting it up like that. There will be no more of you know it being like that. You won't have to deal with my dog walking by and slamming the tripod and then it goes like that all day. Sorry for giving some of you bouts of epilepsy. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping that uh, I can put this all together, make it work. I did, so basically now that that part is over, I am going to tell some hilarious stories in regards to trying to utilize this motherfucker. Son of a bitch. And then... We are going to move along to, uh, I will try to play a couple matches at least. However, I tried to actually play this yesterday because I thought I had it all figured out. I thought I had everything figured out, everything plugged in correctly. I had all of, I mean, again, like I said, I misinterpreted the audio part, so obviously you're not going to see it because there was no commentary to go along with it, and it was a god-awful match. But I did try to actually play this game yesterday, and I was just going to play like a match just so I can test the video quality, test the microphone quality, test everything, blah, blah, blah. It was terrible. It had a good half second of lag to everything. It was god awful. So if I, I mean, obviously, and it took me something like five minutes of just sitting around just to get that match. So yeah, I mean, obviously, Injustice just came out. It came out three days ago. Now today's Friday. It came out three days ago. I'm sure a lot of people that were still hanging around playing this a little bit have jumped shit to that for at least a little bit. Uh, for all of you wondering, if you do not pay attention to the comments of old videos, people have asked me whether or not I'm picking up Injustice. The answer is, I have never been a big fan of the studio that made it. I thought Mortal Kombat looked very clunky, was not a very good game. This is my opinion, so please do not crucify me over it. I did not like any aspect of Mortal Kombat. I'll be perfectly blunt here. I didn't like the graphics. I didn't like the way they moved. I didn't like it, the way it sounded. I didn't like the way it played. I didn't like any of it. Now, obviously, Injustice is not very similar to Mortal Kombat. It had, they have gone to very uh, closer to traditional fighting game mechanics. Uh, you know, actually using the stick to block, you know, using directions to block rather than having a block button. They're using, you know, motions for inputs now instead of, like, a button sequence, etc., etc. However, it still has that just clunky, unappealing aesthetic to it. I don't like it. And so because of that, I did, well, also, Mortal Kombat 9 had tr atrocious netcode. I didn't play it, but even the people that play it and like it have told me that game's netcode is trash, don't even bother, it will, I mean, if you hate the game now, it's not gonna fix your opinion. You will get, you'll just get another reason to hate it. And so I, I don't know if the netcode's going to be good. And Injustice is not a game that, I mean, honestly, Blaze Blue was a game that I saw in action. I saw, and I thought, damn it, I wanna play that game. I really wanna play that game, I wanna learn that game, I wanna be good at that game. Marvel, same thing. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. At first, it was pretty much the same thing as Injustice. Damn it, this game's gonna... S well, actually, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. See, Injustice, I'm pretty much just completely... I just don't care. To be, to be honest, I don't care. Street Fighter Cross Tekken, I knew I hated it just because of their outlook on DLC and gyms in regards to Capcom's own mentality about their game. I thought it was retarded. I thought they were stupid. And, I mean, basically... But basically, because due to the fact that I bought Street Fighter Cross Tekken through Gamefly... They basically only got 20 bucks from me for the DLC. And I still... Actually, no, Christy was a DLC character, so I do not regret that. But, well, I kind of do. I mean, $20 for DLC, that's ridiculous. Somebody actually put up a topic somewhere saying, all right, so let me... I hope I got this math right, because I want to get the game, and I want to make sure I know how much all the DLC costs. And the DLC came out to something like $69.17. Or something like that. And I think that was without the DLC gems. If I were, that was just the costumes and the characters. I think. I'm not sure if it included gems. It may have. But still, that is ridiculous. I mean, if you're going to put out... Like, I mean, you know what? That's not even a good point. Dragon Age Origins had a huge expansion. Dragon Age Origins Awakening. I think that was only 30 bucks. It might have only been like 25 
But still, that pretty much gave you an entire new game. It wasn't like it wasn't as long as Dragon Age Origins, but still, that is the kind of content you expect out of something that you are going to be spending almost a similar amount to a game on. It is ludicrous how much they are charging for the DLC. And then I actually recently read, I'm getting kind of off topic here, I'm supposed to be telling you stories about the Aver Media shit, but I read a story recently about an interview with Capcom where they basically said, you know what? We failed with our games, we misinterpreted some things from fans, and at this point I was impressed. I was like, holy shit, they understand uh, that Resident Evil 6 had some issues, at least with their old fan base. I mean, don't give me, see, here's the thing. Resident Evil 6, I am going so off topic. Resident Evil 6 was a good game. It was a good action game. It was a shitty Resident Evil game. And that is everybody's issue with it. Devil May Cry. It was a good action game. Not a great action game. Devil May Cry should always be a great action game. Even Devil May Cry 4, which is probably until this one, was the most hated version because they replaced Dante with Nero, blah, blah, blah. Was a great action game. If you ignored everything else, it was a great action game. DMC cannot say the same about itself. It was a passable action game. It was okay. It wasn't bad, but they ruined the characters. They absolutely ruined them. Dante went from being, you know, just this corny, arrogant knucklehead, basically. I don't know if knucklehead is the proper term there. But he went from being just this corny, arrogant guy that was supposed, you know, you're not really supposed to take it seriously. They knew that their game was corny, and they played it up. Virgil was this honorable guy who just happened to be on the other side of you. They ruined both of those. They went from Dante being like corny, but corny and arrogant, but still lovable at the same time, to just being this angsty, emo little asshole that had no personality to him whatsoever, no good personality traits to him whatsoever. There was nothing good about Dante. And they turned Virgil into this fucking mad, sadistic piece of shit. They just ruined the characters. Like, the only thing they shared was a slight resemblance in how they dressed and how they looked. That was the only resemblance. There was nothing else that would even indicate that these characters, that this was a DMC game. It should not have been a DMC game. It should have been an action game called something else. But instead, they decided to stick Devil May Cry on that motherfucker. I'm still so mad about that. Because I got so excited when I heard there was a new Devil May Cry game. I was willing to forgive them for the very odd decision of trying to reboot it. Whatever. It's Devil May Cry, right? But it wasn't. It wasn't Devil May Cry. It was a game that they basically made from scratch, that they made a main character look, dress kind of like Dante, throw an opposite dude in there named Virgil. Oh, it's Devil May Cry. Fuck all y'all. But then they basically said, we need to focus more on our DLC plans. We need to expand more on the possibilities of DLC. Yes, because that is what has made you successful, is your plans for DLC for your games, you dumbasses. It's so remarkable just how bad companies are at recognizing mistakes and just being like, yeah, we fucked up. That was a terrible idea. We never should have done it. Sorry, won't happen again. No, instead, it's, I'm going to keep doing this until y'all like it. Eventually, we're bound to get something, right? Just keep rolling the dice. Good marketing right there. So mad. I'm so mad. I mean, I'm not even mad about, you know, like, I mean, obviously people, in regards to all these Marvel, are still mad there's not going to be a new version of Marvel. I understand it. I'm perfectly, it's not, that's not a Capcom is evil thing. They made a mistake releasing Ultimate nine months after Vanilla. That was retarded of them. And it didn't help their cause at all. But still, the point, I mean, it's understandable. They have to go through all this licensing bullshit in order to get it. They have to listen to Marvel suggestions on their game. You know, have you ever... I mean, if you're working on a project, and you have a vision for this project, but you have to report to somebody else, and they're just basically like, nah, nah, can't have it, don't want it, don't care. You think that's going to promote, like, a desire to continue working with that company? That's basically the relationship right there. It's basically Marvel saying, hey, you know all these beloved characters your fans are asking for? These beloved characters you want to use and that you think can make great? That you think can make an amazing game out of? 
Nah. Use these dudes we're making a movie for instead. Congratulations, you know I have four in this game. Thanks! And Ghost Rider. Thanks! Asshole. I mean, granted, well, maybe that did result. I don't know what resulted in Rocket Raccoon being in this game. Unfortunately, I mean, he's, oh man, he's such a well-made character, and it's unfortunate they ended up being, you know, not very good. Because he's such a well-made character. He's just a fun character. But anyway, again, we're getting off topic. Let's go to the Aver Media shit for a bit. So basically, I got it. I plugged it in. Blah, blah, blah. Firstly, let's go with the non-funny stuff. I actually, I need to tweak with my television settings a little bit. Because unfortunately, it doesn't work. They, ca they gave you a component cable with it. Because basically, the PS3 has some kind of uh, protection. It's called HDCP. I'm assuming this stands for HDMI Copyright Protection. I don't know if that's what it stands for, but it makes sense in my head. Um, that prevents you from recording directly from an HDMI connection. So they gave you a component cable specially built for the PS3 that you can plug into the PS3 to utilize. It also fits into the PS2. So I tried it with my PS2 first because I have a few games on my game fly queue that I was planning on potentially doing playthroughs for. I wasn't sure yet, but I was considering it. So I, tr so I tested it on the PS2 just to see if it would work. And it records perfectly fine. Like, the output, the recording, the video it gives me is perfect. It's flawless. But on the television itself, the screen is constantly going, I mean, it's kind of, it's not like a constant, uh, predictable pattern, not, it's, not, it's not a pattern, but every, like, 10 to 45 seconds, the screen will just go black, the sound will stop, and that lasts for a second or two, and then it comes back on and flashes back on, and then eventually, again, after another 10 to 45 seconds, it's just constant, keeps going eventually the screen will go black and obviously I can't play a game like that that's absurd I'm not gonna play a game like that it's unfortunate that it records perfectly fine but the TV does that and I'm assuming it, it's either something to do with the cable or it's the TV I don't know which I should actually try to talk to a remedious customer service about that but I wanted to tweak with my television settings first before I went to that because I want to try every option first I don't want to be one of those people it's like Oh my god, my computer's not working. It's not responding to my commands. What's going on? Have you pressed the power button? What's the power button? I don't want to be that guy. So yeah, I need to test that shit out. So that's unfortunate. It's the same thing happened with the PS3. The same exact thing. So I really hope I figure out how to fix that. Otherwise, this is useless with the PS3. It's only useful for the Xbox 360. Basically, so I got this motherfucker. Now let me show you these cables real quick. The dongle cables, whatever the fuck they're called. If I can find them, this, these. So basically, they're component cables, right? Look how short that is. Very, not very big. It's actually about not even the size of my hand. Granted, I have a big hand because I am a big person, but it's still not very big. And at first, I didn't realize that those component cables were uh, that you were supposed to plug the component cables from the 360 into those. I thought those were actual component cables that you were supposed to plug into your TV. So I'm sitting there like, how the fuck am I supposed to run this shit, this small ass cable, to the device, and then using this uh, USB cable, it's actually, I'd say it's three feet long, if I'm looking at this correctly, I'd say it's three feet long, a three foot long USB cable, like, I'm just gonna have to keep my fucking computer directly next to my TV to work this, and then I actually looked closer and thought I was retarded. I mean, moving on, more reasons for me to be retarded, so I feel, obviously I figured that out. I handled my business, but then I just automatically, you know, I was excited to test it out, excited to make it happen, so I checked it out. I booted up all the software, I got it all working, and I just said, fuck these settings, let's record some video and see what it looks like and see what it sounds like. So I recorded some video. It records the video, the default is a video file called TS. I don't actually know what that stands for. It's apparently, it's like a lesser version of MPEG-2, I think, is what I got out of Googling it. Like, similar to it, but not quite. I get. I don't even, I don't even know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. But basically, I had to download a new video player just to play the damn thing. Not to mention even trying to edit the shit. My, the editing, the video editing software I used did not even recognize the file as a video file. It was like, what the fuck are you trying to add to me? Fuck you. This shit ain't right. 
This is not a video file. So I thought, oh my god, I just got a video type I can't even utilize correctly. What the fuck? What did I do? What did I spend money on? But then I actually looked at the options and you can change it to MP4. Go me. But then again, so then again, I thought, uh, actually, you know what? That's enough. That's enough. That's, that's enough stupidity for me. For now, let's get, let's try to get a little bit of gameplay going here. I don't even know how to use this character. Is it half circle bag? Yeah, it is. Oh, God. Oh, I thought that would have hit. Aww. You actually have to wait deceptively long to get a dash cancel out of that. I'm concerned. That little, that little bit of delay. A little additional delay between actually getting... You know what, let's use Justin Wong's old team. Oh god, we got a first lord up in here. Where's Frank? Kind of an oldie but goodie. Almost. We got Nova Frank, it's close enough. Just no Spent. No, a Hawkeye. I used Hawkeye on that team. Spencer's not a good character in that team. I mean, granted, Sp I mean, obviously Spencer assists is godlike, but the problem is, I mean, the entire point of having Nova and Spencer on the same team is the ridiculous DHC you get out of it. The ridiculous damage you get out of that. It basically, you know, it basically kills anybody in the cast because he still gets wall bounce follow-up. It's fantastic. And so, you know, a bunch of people were like, how's Nova Frank Spencer work out? And everybody's like, oh my god, that's so good. It's so amazing. Spencer assist is so amazing for Nova. And like, it's it's not the assist. It's amazing. I mean, yes, getting the additional crumple is amazing, but it's what you get after the crumple that is amazing about the team. And I'm just sitting like, god damn it. These people! These clueless people! What the hell is this? Is this? Is this? I didn't block low. That was my fault. I didn't block low. Oh my god. Bitch, I'm gone! Oh, of course he did. Oh, fuck you online! I blocked that. Alright, so this dude, purely online. First Lord purely view via online. Via people not being able to block this stupid retarded game plan online. I mean that like that's literally his dude. Wow, you are the best. You are just the best player I have ever fucking seen. Fuck you, Hagar! We made that assist more fair, yep. Good job. Wow. Fine, I don't want to push block. I wanted to get grabbed. By this terrible player. I didn't want to do that, you motherfucker! So that definitely almost crossed me up. Thanks for not having any lows, you motherfucker. Oh my god, random ass lag spike almost bro almost killed me. Almost killed me. Yeah, alright, that was predictable. Alright, that was predictable. Oh, that's, that's not invincible when I'm level 1. Why am I stupid? I thought, ah, if he does that, I'm free. No problem. I forgot how to use Frank. I have to admit, though, that was a godlike instant overhead on my part. Too bad we got a shitty online player to go along with it. So mad. See what I mean? Like the only people left online are online players. I dude didn't have a game plan with scroll. He just positively relied on the game being like, no, you can't block this shit. Not in this netco, bitch. And it was right. It was correct. The netcode was correct. Can't block it. Ah, fuck it. One last match and we're done. Even if it's a four-bar connection, we're not expecting anything good out of this game anyway. I'll play some Felicia, because I didn't get to play Felicia last time. This, that dude I played was a dumbass. And I'm a little mad about it. Ruin my day. Ruin my day! But I just see Doom, you motherfucker. You lazy piece of shit! You boring fucker! Ah! 
Oh god, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh yes, this is bad. No, I, I refuse. You can't make me. Oops. Ha. Ha ha. I didn't mean to do that. That's my bad. That. Thank you for. Why am I trying to use this assist like he's Hawkeye? Oh my god, I almost dropped that. I definitely almost dropped that. This connection is so bad. Block your toesies! Oh my god, I didn't get the dash first. That would have made that shit work. Why are you... Is that... Is that... Are you really? 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 Nope! No! Oh, yep. No way you're doing that shit in this connection. Really? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Really? This is this is your game plan? That's his game plan. My fault. My fault. This is what happens when you play characters you don't know how to use against Doom. You just get foot dive. Foot dive by terrible players. Don't even care. Oh, that sucks. I didn't even mean to do that! Ooh, I did not know. I thought that was her kitty helper. You are terrible. You can't even blame this on the lag. Like, this isn't even lag. This is just this dude's game plan. Although the lag got much worse throughout that entire thing. Oh, he didn't die. What a shame. This guy's the best player I've ever played. I'm just gonna do Ryus. It didn't work. What a shame. Well done. Now you can't follow it up. Oh, he was closer to the corner than I thought. I might have actually just lost there, which will be hilarious to me. Wow. Why did I hit a button? Why am I stupid? I mean, that was my own fault. I don't know why I hit a button there. Either way. Do we care? No, we don't. No, we don't. We lost to a terrible player in lag. It's Marvel all over again. It's what we expected. Hope y'all enjoyed that, because I sure as hell didn't.